Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. And I have a confession. I did a bad thing. You see, I was having serious problems trying to kill Aldrich using only sorcery. I just couldn't get him down to like much, much below half health. And his second phase was just wiping me out. I needed. I just didn't have enough Estus to like kill him with magic and still have enough to like heal because it's almost impossible to dodge some of his magic attacks. Well not the magic so much as the arrows. Anyway, so I thought I know. I'll come back to the Boreal Valley and murder this helpless old what lady. Is wrong, unkindled one. Are you not a Lord Seeker? Head to the base of the high wall. And is this not I've done that lady. What is wrong? Are you not is this Yeah, yeah, sorry about this love, but uh, the thing is I uh kind of need to uh open that staircase behind you. <coughs> oh dear. Lord, he must be my dear. Sorry, love. Now, you could actually do this from basically right at the beginning of the game. Although, uh, good luck to you. <laughs> good luck to you. Except, as a mage, the Dancer of the Boreal Valley is the easiest boss in the game. I was very disappointed because I didn't manage to do the fight perfectly, as in not taking any damage at all because she hit me once near the end of the fight I really like this boss but it's just it's not it's not fun fighting it with magic it's just too easy fighting it with the sword was great and it was you know not super difficult but challenging but look at that 500 damage 500 damage. Over 500 damage. And, uh, yes, yeah, entirely chicken strategy here. Run away. Smash the pews. So you don't get stuck on the pews. That was basically my, uh, rationale here. Keep your distance. So, I'd say that most most souls bosses probably the majority it's generally it's advisable to get right in their faces or whatever else they have in place of a face uh, but basically to stay close to them and their attacks go over your head things like that but um, there are a few bosses where keeping your distance has some advantages and if you can keep your distance and use magic, then those bosses unfortunately always work out to be really, really easy. So here, like, once she's exhausted her spin to win combination, she's vulnerable. And uh, as long as you can, like, run away. I thought she was going to get stuck here for a minute. Spin to win, spin to win. Zap to win. I have a problem there. Uh, I think the only reason I eventually uh, messed up, maybe it's here, uh, was uh, see, look, she's so nearly dead. I'm thinking, perfect score. Oh. Oh, how disappointing. I was actually considering using different magic because her health was so low. There you go. It's very easy. Bit of an anti-climax, to be honest. Uh, but this will allow me to go and get a lot more, like, chunks and other upgradable materials.